So, Misfire was a number five cylinder. So if you're looking at the front, this is one, three, five, two, four, six. And I, what I've done already was swapped out both coil packs, swapped them out, and the spark plug. And the code still goes for number five. So that rules out spark. So the only thing that's left is fuel, air, and compression. And the fuel is hard because the injectors are buried right in there. And I did put a stethoscope on it and it does click. So it is clicking. So I'm going to rule that out for now. Think about air and compression. I don't have a compression tester, but I was going to test out the compression by um, putting it into number five. Now this is a plastic upper intake manifold. Number five is getting air from this runner. So this is runner for number six, five, four, which is four, three, which is for this plug, and number one, which is for this plug. No. Oh, that's number uh, three. And this is number runner for number one. So the air is going to be coming in not from anywhere over here, but from on this side. Well, it could be coming under there. Right under this bolt is the end of the intake runner. For number five which comes down along here and it goes into the lower intake manifold i already sprayed water in here and i got a change in the vacuum change in um, engine performance you could actually hear it stutter so somewhere along here, got an intake manifold leak, or there's a crack in the intake on this side somewhere, and it only seems to affect number five. So I would say it's just where the gasket is. If it was a crack, I think it would affect all the cylinders. So this is my 300M. You can see it's 405,000 kilometers, which is about, I think it's about 260,000 miles for you Americans. And as soon as I start up the car, I cleared the code for P0305, but it comes right away. And it starts as soon as I start. So let's just start it, and I'll crank now. Comes on, stays on. And it gives me the tone. So now I have this water bottle. Drill the little hole onto the top. And I'm going to squirt it around the manifold. So I already did this. So I know I got some uh, stuttering over here. So I'm just going to go there and right there start shaking more right there And now I can do it.
Huh. This is how you test for a vacuum leak. This water bottle. And I also have this. It's the sprayer, pressurized sprayer. I like it because of the angle of the nozzle. I didn't want to use it because it's got some weed killer in it. But I like this because I can get underneath things and spray it. I can actually put a tube into the bottle and spray underneath the manifold that way. I'm going to try this. So this is the number five. The intake runner is going to be right in front of it. And if I spray it, my engine starts shaking more. I don't think you can hear it on the camera or feel it, but I know, I can feel it. So this would be the runner, this whole part here, going into the lower intake manifold. I got all these. Now the better method, in my opinion, would be using a propane bottle to try to find your vacuum leaks. All I did was remove the uh, nozzle, just unscrews from the, uh, the neck. There's a little valve orifice, so don't lose that. That's going to be sitting in right there. This, so this will unscrew. You could actually probably leave this in. Just regulates the amount of uh, gas coming up to the orifice. Well, I call it the orifice. I don't know what it's called. So don't lose these two. And I stuck in, I'm guessing this is a one quarter inch tube. It fits perfectly over here. Creates a good seal. And whatever length of tube you have. And this can find more precisely where the vacuum leak is instead of the water where it goes everywhere. Uh, a lot of people, for some reason, don't have a propane tank, though. And you just go around and uh, finding spots and putting it in uh, certain areas. Like my problem is the intake, it's under the intake. So I got an upper and lower intake, or they call it a plenum, upper plenum. So the seal is not visible. It's not like a typical intake manifold. So I just turn on a little bit, go at the end of the nozzle, and you should be able to find a leak the engine is going to change RPMs or stumble or change characteristics. And right here, I don't know if you can hear that, my engine changed RPM. So my problem is my intake seal is under here and above the fuel rail. And I got to put it in that, there's only so much space I can get there, and I can hear it change. So somewhere in this area, so I know it's this. And that's how you can find it without using water. Using a propane tank. 